Hello everyone, my name is Dr. Bucci and today I've got another Guild Wars 2 video for you. Today I'm not going to be playing Guild Wars 2 or have any Guild Wars 2 footage for you. Today I'm going to talk about a few websites that I use while playing Guild Wars to enhance my experience and that for those of you who don't under don't know about it, can make use of it yourself. And I, I think some of these are quite obvious, some of them aren't. And I just want to put them all out there, the ones I use, and maybe this will be helpful, maybe it won't. But I'm putting this out there and you can make what you will of it. So the first I have is guildwars2build.com. The URL for it is gw2build.com. And if you type in, type after that forward slash builds, you'll come to the page like this, in which you can use this here to uh, filter your search. So I can get all the different professions, different types. So SPVP competitive, PVP fun, world versus world, PVE. I can look through them and I can, you know, sort it by last update or the amount of views it's got and that usually correlates the amount of ratings it's got. So this is quite useful for me because when I'm trying to find a random build to use in PvP I can just come on here and find something. There are loads of other websites which do builds as well. There's, there's guildwarsbuild.org as well. I haven't used that yet. And GW2 Database also has its own build section. I use this one, I like it so far. Um, it's been quite helpful just to find builds. I'm not going to comment on the quality of the builds in there because that's a separate thing entirely and if you want to see my comments on builds then it's probably worth watching some of my SPVP videos where I try these builds out. But overall they seem to be... it's, it's okay, it's okay. So therefore I probably would recommend using this website, I mean I'm not going to show you the websites I use and say don't use them. I would recommend all of these but I'd recommend Guild Wars 2 build if you're willing to experiment with builds in PvE or PvP or World vs World. This is a good place to go to in my opinion. You might be, you feel free to disagree, there might be other websites and I'm sure there are other websites which do the exact same thing. But I, I've got used to Guild Wars 2 build so if you are looking for a build website I would recommend this one. The next one I've got for you is guildwarstemple.com. This is probably the most useful one in my opinion. I think this website is brilliant and the app on it is great. So on guildwarstemple.com, which is literally guildwarstemple.com, they have an event timer. So when you get to the main page, if you click event timer, you come to what's called the dragon timer and you'll be able to click on whichever you know, server you're on, so I can just click on Devana's Rest and the US servers. And here I can see all of the timers for the world bosses, world events, the meta events on the server. So I can see Shadow Behemoth, it's 10 minutes before its 30 minute spawn window, and to Quartal the Sunless is 30 minutes, 14 minutes before its 30 minute spawn window, sorry. Um, Mega Destroy is 30 minutes, but apparently it's outdated. Um, and you can use this to find out when events are going on on your server or any server for that matter if you're like guesting and things like that I really recommend this one because when I'm in Queensdale I always see in map chat when Shadow Behemoth up and I, you know, I'm willing to help people and I always look on here but it's kind of like let me google that for you or something like that but seriously if you don't know about this website yet use it it's really useful there's also an android app i don't have an android phone so i haven't been able to use this so i won't be able to comment on that but if you have an android phone then or an android tablet it might be worth getting that to help you out as well i would definitely recommend this this is brilliant for doing your meta events you can plan it all out nice and easily you don't have to sit around waiting for bosses and for the most part they're fairly accurate i've noticed that shadow behemoth sometimes doesn't show up in the 30 minute spawn window, but I don't think that's the fault of Guild Wars Temple. I think it's more just something in the game, and so I'm not going to fault Guild Wars Temple for that. But overall, guildwarstemple.com, go to event timers and dragon timer, choose your server, and you'll see this, and it's brilliant for that. So I'd recommend it highly. The third website I've got for you is guildwarsstate.com, sorry, guildwars2state.com. So the URL for that is gw2state.com if you type in forward slash temples dot html you'll get this page here and this is a summary of all of the vendors the karma vendors in ore and crucible of eternity and citadel flame and it tells you whether they're open or not and also there's a rather so what you do is you literally just look 
to wherever your server is so let's say ruins of Sermia Ra closed and you can see yeah it's pretty much either closed or attacking for the whole thing so you can get an idea of where you need to go and which server you need to go if you need to go to a karma vendor or if you're in a party looking to do coe or cof and you need to guest onto another server this is really useful because it means you don't waste your two guest it, guest passes if you will onto other servers trying to randomly find somewhere that's open you can look on here and you just need to refresh it and you'll be able to see whether your whether your server is up or open or if another one is and if they're available and you can go to them as you can see on the EU servers Balthazar is closed so pretty much all of them which is kind of kind of normal I think um, so yeah uh, gw2state.com I'm going to put all of these URLs on the video so you'll see them and I'll put all of these links in the description I probably should have mentioned that before that'll be all there for you so you can have a look there would recommend this if you're look, looking to find out when coughs open or COEs open it really just makes life so much easier you can be that person in your party who goes and guests onto the other server and just makes life easier for everyone It's I, I like using it it just makes me more useful and yeah, so give this one a try. I'd recommend it. I also know there are other websites which do this. I forget the names of them now. I've used other ones in the past. This is just one I would recommend and I I know about at the moment and I can speak about. But there are loads of different websites which do this and they do it all pretty well. There are some that literally just tell you which one is open for which one. And so you can just go on there and find out there. The fourth one I have is Guild Wars 2 Database or GW2DB.com and this is literally a database for pretty much all the stuff you'd want to know about in the game it's very similar to other um, databases for other MMOs I've played I remember the, the WoW database was very similar they're all ran by Curse I believe and you can see there's WoW, you know, all these different related sites it appears and Go Curse seemed to run this and or at least power it and so you can like come in here and you can find out about stuff fiery great sword great <laughs> You can go into guild upgrades, you know, maps, which doesn't seem to have anything for at the moment. There's skill cal calculators, there's skill build at the bottom here, so I can go onto the build section. I used to use this for a little while, but I moved to uh, Guild Wars 2 build, so you can see profession skills and racial skills and stuff like that. And so that's another thing I'd say that's quite useful if you need to quickly find out about something, if you need to get some bare minimum uh, stats and things on an item, or you need to get some information on a place, or if you need to find a build, as I'm demonstrating here. W highly recommend it, another good website, and I know there are others that do a similar thing, this is just one that I've used, and it seems pretty good. The next one is wiki.guildwars2.com, this kind of deserves a mention since it is the official Guild Wars 2 wiki. This is probably the most obvious one that you know about, and I've used it for loads of stuff, you can see here I've clicked on loads of these before. Really useful for just finding out stuff about the game and finding out what you need to do, finding out about the personal story and the living story, different types of weapon, armor, it's got some useful pages and I've used it pretty much extensively, probably more than any other site of its ilk or this kind of just information site as opposed to the app time and stuff like that which I probably use much more than anything else for Guild Wars 2. Again, highly recommend it, really useful just for finding out information, Emissary Vorp, Clockwork Chaos and all that, I can just come straight onto here, right here I can even click random page and just see what I get. Script Tonic, that's kind of like, reminds me of Skooma from the Elder Scrolls. Um, so yeah, that's the Guild Wars 2 wiki that kind of needs, that's got an honorary mention there, it really deserves it, um, and it's pretty good and it also has like game updates and stuff like that so it's quite easy just to find out what's going on with updates and stuff like that so yeah that's another one you can use and one I personally use it's probably quite obvious and a lot of you probably already know about that and the final website which I'd like to talk about I actually forgot about this one until a few minutes ago uh, this definitely deserves a mention this is brilliant since the Guild Wars 2 looking for group function isn't well it's just non-existent really Arena and I have, brought, have talked about bringing this in, that they seem to be doing, wanting to do this by the end of the year. If that's the case, then that's great, and maybe this website will kind of become redundant by then, uh, or maybe it will stay going, I don't know. I'm just going to talk about it anyway. This is uh, Guild Wars 2 looking for group.net. There's also a Guild Wars 2 looking for group.com. I'm not sure if they're linked. And basically, you can just search 
for parties, looking for group. The URL is gw2lfg.net and as you can see, you just type in what you want to do. So I want to do uh, Honor of the Waves. I can see people looking, you know, groups. And you can see when they posted it. And this is a really easy way to find groups. It means you don't have to sit in Lion's Arch map chat for ages. This means you can pick up a party much quicker. And it's using this, it's actually fairly easy to get a party. Even though there's loads of stuff going on in the living world at the moment. With clockwork chaos and stuff like that. This is quite easy just to, you know, get on. And either make a little um, slot in here so people can see it. Or just join one, like, you know, whisper someone. And you'd be into a party. So that's a really good one. That's the final one I need to talk about now. So... I think I'll just wrap things up here. Thanks a lot for watching everyone. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a like. If you want to see more videos like this one, please press subscribe. I do tutorials as well as tips. Just involving Guild Wars 2 and maybe some other games, but mostly Guild Wars 2. And post a comment if you feel like you need to make a comment. If you've got other suggestions, I'd love to hear them. So thanks a lot for watching everyone. See you later.